Hi everybody, I'm very enthusiastic because today it is the first tutorial when I will speak. You will kindly hear my voice all along the poster creation. So let's start today's poster number 585. 84. So the first things I do when I create a poster is change the number of the poster. So 584. I change the date too. Oops. Waiting a moment. So we are August, uh, August 6th. Yeah, exactly. August 6, 2020. So I don't like this 2020 there. I change it. every day so this is how look like the templates i already import the brain images that i render with uh, blender i didn't create it i'm not that good with 3d software blender is a bit complicated to me now i'm learning so I bought it somewhere online and I put it a gold uh, a gold mat here. Something will look like gold. Maybe the backlight uh, very strong, maybe a little bit too strong. And uh, <coughs> yeah, I don't know what to do today. So let's start by write uh, the title of this poster which is uh, gold brain number five. Oh my god this multi core red wheel is starting to kill me it's terrible all right come on Gold brain ah. Photoshop, you're too slow. Come on, boy. Come on. Brain. Ah, it's easy, it's just text. Should do it quickly. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I create mini series. If you follow me, you know. Because mini series allow me to to go deeper, to dig deeper into the the layout, the subject, the topic I want to explore. And yeah, it saves sometimes. And today, because it is the first time I'm talking while I'm creating the poster, it's good. That it, that it is a mini series. Number five, let's go. Come on. Ah, here we are. The title is Vault. Hey. I bring them a little bit together. I select them on my layer panel. I want to make them bigger. So select them all in one time and command T to transform them and I scale them larger yeah not bad with the pixel effect there could be good maybe in black it's not so not so bad it looks good but I use too much white and black in my poster design so I should really avoid and play more with colors. 
transform in progress. Yeah, maybe it's because the the recorder, the recording uh, app that that slow Photoshop. I'm tired to wait on Photoshop. So the things I like to do to create. Uh, to find my uh, colors sometimes for uh, find contrast easily and don't uh, open a website about colors to find the right colors I simply create a, a white rectangle or square put it on the top of the layer I come back to my layers panel I select difference or exclusion and see what happens there. You can do that with uh, other colors too, but uh, I want to, to find the real uh, contrast of the colors. So I still got them from uh, yesterday's poster here. The two blue colors I want to use for this poster. I also use uh, red colors and I find this uh, light pink and this uh, deep purple color there. But uh, I think they don't, they don't work great together. So let's select some, some new colors. These blue colors are very interesting because they are really the contrast of the brain color, the gold brain color, not so dark, not so light. Select the good one there. So I remove the square, the white square there, because I don't need it. Command zero to see the wall poster. Select the text again. Go to the swatches colors. Select the blue. The medium blue. Not enough contrast. What about the dark blue? Yeah, looks fine. Let's have a try with that. <coughs> so, gold. Ooh. I think there is a kerning inside the letter. Let's set it to zero to tra track it. Up. Photoshop is searching. What are you looking for? So select the two other and put them, put the tracking on zero. On zero. So ready to go with the types. So I like to, yeah, these days I like to. To play with the side of the the canvas and uh, let appear the let's start the font on one side and uh, appear on the other side. Just have to find the right uh, the right position for do that. Yeah, it bring the eyes from. Uh, from one side to another of the canvas, I think it's pretty interesting to do that kind of stuff. Maybe I should do that with the brain too. Put him well down there, down there. Copy. Okay, what are you doing? What did I copy? Ah, come on. I 
should uh, scale it down a little bit. Uh, transform in progress. Nice, waiting again. Come on. Here we are. I should work on the, this picture a little bit, I think. I feel there are not right uh, exposure levels. So come on there. Maybe there are two. There is no enough contrast into them. Let's see what happens if I do that. And this. Wow, it looks burning uh, on the bottom of the of the brain. It's not a good idea. Let's see with the gray. Whoa, no, 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 no. Bad idea. Not enough contrast there. That looks good. Maybe a little bit too dark. Yeah, when you play with the properties of levels, you really should be sweet. Don't move them a lot. Ah, it depends what you want. So come on, select the brain. Should I put it in the middle? Maybe not. God, Brian, let's get the air in the middle. <coughs> a little bit more. The right there. Select it again. Duplicate it. Scale it up. And see what happens. Yeah, you can use a grid uh, for uh, realize that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want, I prefer trust my uh, instinct. Like uh, I already can tell you, on the top there, there is a problem. It's not working well. They are too close together. Yeah, the end touch a little bit. The brain maybe a bit down or. Pass in front of the brain, maybe it should become behind. Let's see well, how it looks like. Yeah, maybe it's better. Where should I put the number five? I should scale it up. Oh, I will put it in white. A big number five in white above the, the brain. Let's see how it looks like. Select the swatches, white. Ah, not that bad, huh? Ah, yeah, and duplicate it on top. It goes from right to left, left and right, and it goes from bottom to top. Good, good. So transform it, transform it. Command P, scale it down, return. Done. Come on. Yeah, what are you looking for, Photoshop? Really? Make me lose time there. Not possible. Anymore. So let's put it in the center of the canvas and be sure I do it. So. Align to the canvas, center it. Same for the number five on the top. Don't select the first gold types, scale it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that way is good. Come on, please. Thanks. 
goal. Go goal. Okay, there. Brian should go a little bit down. I think you maybe a little bit up just above. Mm, why not? Let's take a look. Command L, Command zero to take a look at the wall poster. F, F to re remove all the things around. Uh, custom color is not good. Huh? Let's use black to distracting. Dark gray looks fine. Medium gray looks good. Light gray, not bad. But I prefer medium gray. No, I like nothing. Okay, this one is okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I really should change the layout uh, types. They are too distracting. I should set them in the same color. Same blue light, blue color. No, they are too strong. They mix better. Up F. I want to see my panel. I need them now. Okay, select me that little vector smart object. Create a new layer. Command on the the rectangle here to select the logo my logo sc it is a monogram two letter intricate inside each others um, b to select the pencil just click one time to change the color done up up f f Take a look at the poster. Hmm. Looks weird. Something wrong there. Should you go down? Or should you go up? Maybe you should go up. That creates a rhythm. If it's too down. Still work, but now you pass above my name. It's not a good ID. Nobody know me. Nobody knows me, so I should put my name there. Here we are. Not bad. Where's the name? Still bad there. God, much bad there. Maybe put all of them down and see what happens. If it looks good or not. Hmm. Still not, huh? Why this little line stay there? Move. Yeah. Command O. I know it was better before. So I play with uh, command Z to go back on the previous uh, action I made and uh, command and uh, shift Z to go in the future uh, step I made. Yeah, like that I can go back to to what I did previously did or yeah. You ca you got you got it. You got it. I'm sure. Oh, maybe that go a little bit up. That little bit up. So let's integrate uh, some uh, geometric shape to see what happens. I'm sure it will be good. So I push uh, the P 
on my keyboard to select uh, the pen tool makes changes passes or shapes with anchor points and handles okay why not so i use horizontal lines let's see if i can play with an oblique line i want you blue the stroke should be blue no fill nothing inside and let's make it much big 123 points pixel sorry pixel oh too small 500 too big ah 500 perfect so I want you to come there, maybe a little out of the brain. I want the same lines there, but a bit thinner. So I push the command A uh, on the. I push I push A on my uh, not my trackpad my keyboard uh, my keyboard a we go down a little bit 333 pixel do you look good hey not bad but you are still too big i think yeah looks better still a little bit big and uh, not bad not bad not bad maybe and should use another font variation expanded regular how do you look like not bad here I select the, the other gold types and it was regular medium Medium, yeah, yeah, okay. Medium, semi bold, bold, stay bold. Black. Oh. Yeah, how about you? Should you look expanded heavy? Ooh. A new expanded scene, maybe. Expanded light. Ooh, you're too close to the goal there. Maybe scene is better. Expanded scene. Ooh, that's a bit too light. See nothing there. Ultra light. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Um, I see that kind of uh, little stuff that almost touch and don't touch the top. Not good. So you go totally like that. Or you discover it. If you let it appear like that. What is better? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's more mysterious when you are totally up. Better. So, I think it's time to hit Command S and save the file in case if Photoshop crashes. Saving 34%, 30, oh, go fast, 98% down, 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 down. Okay. Leave that. That's my VPN. So, I come back. Ooh. I had to, to have a little rest, take a break.
because I feel like pressured because I'm talking now, talking while creating my poster. It's, it's not usual for me. It almost brings me anxiety. I'm becoming anxious only for that. Crazy. So I feel a little bit better now. So let's go. Goal, brain, damn, done. Looks not that bad. So how to improve the look of this poster? I don't want something minimalist. Maybe something more complicated. It always looked more like if I if I work. Yeah, it always looked like um, I made more more effort on it if uh, if I add um, many many stuff. So let's go. But what? I know. Let it you on my keyboard. Select the shape. I don't need a stroke. I don't want a stroke. Select white color. I will come over the brain there. Command T. Turn it not 30 degree. 45 is much better. And let's pose this shape there. Yeah. Come back on my layers panel. I uh, use command and click on the ah, layer thumbnail. So I have that selected. I come on my uh, bottom brain layer. I also give it a name. Top brain up. I hit command C. Command V and that give me the shape I selected. Ooh la la. Looks like a little rain. I hit P to select the pen tool. I use it as a pass. Oh my god, I feel like I'm about to snooze. I hit selection. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. It was a strong one. I'm just leaving a lambago. I can tell you my back uh, don't thanks me. Up. Oh, there, yeah. Maybe too close from the... Well, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. On the top there. Oh, near the logo? No, 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 no. Almost look like it's uh, an extension of the. Uh, well, no. Come on. It almost look like the extension of that line. Touch there. Visually. Uh, yeah, looks good, looks good. Start to looks good. There are many things to do, but uh, it's nice, it's nice. Yeah, the problem there with the um, with the daily design uh, poster challenge is that I don't have all the day to create the poster. Uh, I should be fast, quick, think, uh, think quick, quickly. So I don't have a lot of time to spend on that. And that's, um, yeah, that's a problem and that's not a problem because overthink a poster is not that good. But being too fast and you miss some little details. So, go back to the design of the poster. We have another color to use. So, I no. Not on that. Ah. Let's create um, 
a rectangle. Hey, how about divide uh, the canvas with uh, with the light blue color there? Move the layers down. Weird. Looks weird. Vertically looks weird. How about uh, horizontally? Looks weird. And there looks better, but that's not fine. Oh yeah, just touch the top of the top of the brain there a little bit on the date. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, that create like uh, a border. Like and the smaller rectangle there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Looks good. It looks good. So I will use the that kind of shape there. I will put it above the top brain. Yeah. The level should only touch the the brain. It was made for that. Huh? Yeah, it give uh, it brings something more. It's more vibrant. The brands look more vibrant. So select the shape, my color, light blue color. Like that, it's like a hole there. It's like a hole on the brain. Looks fine, looks fine. Maybe closer, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Huh? I uh, I want to stop now. But not, not now, it's not possible. Something is missing. Some thinner line that look like a pattern need repeti repetition hey, uh, that's a shape it's not a little pass go there I want you much 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 thinner 23 looks fine I want you Smaller, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, perfect. So let's select white colors, more contrast above the the brain. Oh, a little bit closer. Not too far. Here it's okay. Select them one by one. Add into the selection and distribute spacing vertically. Yeah, like that, they have the same distance. <coughs> Copy them. Oh, yeah. Fine. Looks good there. Huh? Copy them again. Select an anchor point. <coughs> what do you do? Make it smaller. 43 pixels is too big. 33 and 23. Yes. Looks good. Select the middle one and the last one. 10 pixel up, 20, 30, 40. 
will send a one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a, a rain of rain with this oblique line all around there. Yeah, I like, I like. How about duplicate it too? Not bad. Not bad. I think it looks good. I probably can work it and work it again and again and make it much better, but as you know, I don't really have the time to do it. So I thank you to follow along the first uh, voice uh, recorded tutorial I made and uh, give me your thoughts and uh, impression about today's uh, video on the comments below if you like it and want to know more about uh, me and the channel you can subscribe to the channel and visit my website or my pinterest account my instagram i am also on facebook so thank you have a nice day and see you tomorrow goodbye